I'm Brian Green, author of The Hidden Reality. It's a book that explores the possibility that our universe might not be the only universe, that we might be part of a multiverse. If, when I was growing up, my room had been adorned with only a single mirror, my childhood daydreams might have been very different. But it had two. And each morning when I opened the closet to get my clothes, the one built into its door aligned with the one on the wall, creating a seemingly endless series of reflections of anything situated between them. It was mesmerizing. I delighted in seeing image after image populating the parallel glass planes extending back as far as the eye could discern. Sometimes I would imagine an irreverent me way down the line who refused to fall into place, disrupting the steady progression and creating a new reality that informed the ones that followed. To be sure, reflected images don't have minds of their own, but these youthful flights of fancy with their imagined parallel realities resonate with an increasingly prominent theme in modern science, the possibility of worlds lying beyond the one we know. This book is an exploration of such possibilities, a considered journey through the science of parallel universes. If you look at where we've been over the last 500 years, starting with what we call the Copernican Revolution, what was that? That was the notion, which was shocking to many people at the time, that the Earth wasn't the center of it all. But as we studied the universe more deeply, people became accustomed to that fact that the Earth goes around the Sun, but then we learned that the Sun is not the center of it all. And then we learned that the galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, is not the center of it all. There are many, many galaxies out there, each with many stars. Many now, we believe, have planets. The next step, if you follow that trajectory, would be to suggest that even the universe is not the center of it all, that there might be other universes. Well, one of the earliest versions of the multiverse of parallel universes comes from the study of quantum mechanics. And the new feature is that quantum theory says you cannot predict with absolute certainty, in general, the outcome of one experiment. All you can predict are the probabilities of one or another outcome. 30% chance the electron is here, 20% here, 50% there. That raises a question. When you measure the electron, you do find it at one location or another. So what happened to the other possibilities that the math seemed to suggest could happen? Well, when you study the equations, the most natural mathematical interpretation of what's going on is that if the electron could be here or here or here, and you measure it and you find it in one place, well, there actually are many of you measuring the electron in many universes, and in one universe you find it here, Another universe, you find it here. And in a third universe, you'd find it over here. Parallel universes naturally emerging from the quantum evolution of the universe. I'm intrigued by this possibility, but not yet convinced of it. But it's a spectacular idea, because it would mean that in some universes, things turn out one way. and In another, they turn out slightly different. So here I am in this universe doing this interview, but in another universe I'm behind the camera and you're sitting over here answering the questions. It's always nice to be nominated for a prize, but what I do want to do with the book is allow the reader to catch a glimpse of what's happening at the cutting edge in theoretical physics and to at least appreciate that from so many different angles, be it cosmology, quantum physics, unified theory with string theory, Computer science, one of the other examples we study, philosophy, there are many different angles that all take us to this one idea that there might be other universes. In no way does that mean the idea is correct, but it does suggest this is an idea worthy of intense investigation because if it is correct, we're talking about the greatest upheaval ever in our understanding of how reality is constructed. That's pretty big.